I am hearing echoes of the 1967 war. And, and why, it's not because the, the, the two situations are identical. They're not in any shape or form in terms of what the immediate prospects are for, for war. What I'm seeing here is that if you look at the Israeli assessment, ultimately to uh, 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 strike uh, uh, Egyptian and, and, and Syrian forces in 1967, it was, was, it was really less a preemption. It's called a preemption. But the prospect of an Egypt, a successful Egyptian or Syrian attack was not very high, which is why the US opposed it. Uh, and, uh, and even if it were to happen, uh, the prospects of the success were even smaller. So the bottom line, the Israelis were not thinking about, you know, this is a preempting an Egyptian attack. They were thinking this is a time of major transformation of power in the region and globally. The Western European powers were pulling out of, uh, uh, out of the Persian Gulf. Uh, uh, the, the U.S. was entangled in Vietnam. Uh, the people, the, the, the big powers are rethinking about who are the countries that are important in the Middle East and who's, who's going to be the one uh, with whom to make relations. And what would have happened if Israel didn't attack uh, uh, in 1967? If Israel didn't attack, it's not that the Syri Egypt would have necessarily attacked. It was that what would have been projected is that Israel is weak, uh, uh, Egypt prevented Israel from attacking Syria, which was the reason why Nasser mobilized, and, and that Egypt is the powerful country in the, in, in the Middle East, and, and Israel is the weak country in the Middle East. And that reputational issue that was so essential for Israeli strategic thinking, which is the long-term reputational effect, particularly in times of transition, was huge. And if you consider in this particular case, if you're looking at a strategic uh, uh, th uh, from, from this perspective, saying, what if Israel doesn't strike Iran? The Israelis think, at least, that Arabs think they're weaker than before. They see what happened to them in 2006. Uh, there is, quote, the absence of fear in the Arab world and the Arab awakening. Uh, Iran is projecting itself as, uh, uh, as, as a powerful country, uh, exhibiting its missiles in the same way that uh, Nasser was exhibiting his uh, in 1967. Uh, and if Israel doesn't attack and then Iran ultimately develops nuclear weapons, uh, the reputational issue for issue is, is, uh, for Israel is huge. 